think a lot about tier one and tier two metrics. Good example. Uh, tier one metrics would be pipeline creation and coverage, right? You know, you have to have those. Tier two would be, well, how much of the pipeline you're creating is which products do you have diversity across your pipeline and how much of the pipeline you're creating is in our most high value account. So we prioritize metrics using tiers. And then we're big on counterbalanced metrics as well. My favorite one as an example there is if you're a sales leader in my organization, you're going to get more than this, but you're going to always get two targets on a quarterly basis. You're going to get your bookings target and you're going to get your sales efficiency target. Cause like if you're a leader, and you're hitting your number quarter over quarter, like maybe that's good, maybe it's not. Because if you're hitting your number, but 80% of your team is missing their quota, like you are not running a good team. So those two counterbalance one another. It's not just enough to hit your number, like you have to run an efficient team too. So we use this concept of like tiering of metrics based on priority and counterbalance metrics to help not only grow the org, but grow it in a healthy way.